Hey everyone, Team Newbie Drone here, and right now we're going to show you how to set up your DSMX DSM compatible B Brain with a DX9. So, the first step here is going to be to actually turn on your DX9 or whatever spectrum type radio you're using here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the roll bar here, and then we're going to go down to System Setup. And then you're going to click on the button on the left hand side uh, and then you're going to go ahead and click on yes and then you're going to scroll down to model select and then we're going to go to add new model from there we're going to go ahead and click on create so you're using the roll bar on the right hand side to go over there and then you're going to go to model type and we're going to go down to the quad and we're going to go ahead and click yes And we're going to go to model uh, name if you'd like to or anything of that nature. But we're gonna go, next thing you need to go to is F mode setup. And from there, we're going to show you that this button right here by default will automatically work and it's already set up for switch one of the input. So you should be good to go there, hit back. And now we're going to go ahead and turn off the radio. And we're going to go ahead and bind the actual. Um, D brain to it now, so you're gonna go ahead and put in the uh, USB cable all the way, get power, and the light will slowly start to flash uh, rapidly here. So now it's flashing rapidly, so you go ahead and hold down the bind button, which on this small is up here, and then you're gonna turn on the radio while holding down the bind button. And you're gonna hold it a bit away Binding. from the quad. And it's gonna say binding. Milliseconds. And then you're going to go ahead and let go bind the bind complete. button and it'll say bind complete and then the red light will be solid on there so once that's done we're going to go ahead and click on connect and data flight and then we're going to go down to the configuration tab and one thing you need to make sure of is that you have for the receiver mode rx ppm and then we're going to go to the receiver tab here and right now there's some channels that are backwards so you'll see here um, all these channels they need to be adjusted because right now they're backwards. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So you're going to go into uh, push the button down on the right hand side of the roll bar and then you're going to go into control setup. And as you can see here, you're going to go over to um, sub trim and then you're going to go to next one be reverse. So reverse is the one we actually want. So you're going to go to roll and you're going to click on that so it actually reverses that. And then you're going to go to yaw and reverse that as well. And then you're going to go ahead and click on the actual back button. And then now here you'll see that left is left and right is right. And these are all configured correctly too. So um, there are a few more steps you need to do on here. So we'll go back to the radio. And we're going to go ahead and click back. And then we're going to go down to control setup. And then we're going to go back into this page. And we're going to go to travel. And scroll down to... Um, all here, we're going to move all these to 125. So we're going to click that, going to go to roll, 125. And then we're going to go to pitch, 125. And then yaw, 125. Perfect. And once that's done, we're going to go back and we're going to need to uh, sub trim this out a little bit. So Right now, as you can see, these are not exactly at 1500. Um, and also, the one right here. Um, so when you go ahead and click on Alt and go ahead and do negative down, you're gonna see here that it's actually adjusting that one. And you try to get that down to 1500, which that's where it's at now for the throttle. So now we're gonna go to roll and do the same thing. So you can see here, you're just scrolling and this is kind of going to be the numbers you need for negative 18 there as well. Same thing here with pitch. And then for yaw, you're going to go down again. And you can see the yaw going down until they're all 1500. So that's going to be the settings there that you're going to be needing to use. Back out, back out, back out. And now if you see here, anything you move is all correct now. So the last step you're going to do on the radio here is you're going to go down and go into the actual uh, system setup and then you're going to go ahead and click yes and you're going to scroll down to the actual channel sign 
the guess on that. And then we're going to adjust aux one on here. Um, so from there, you're going to scroll down to uh, five gear. And then you're going to go ahead and choose whichever switch you want. We're going to choose this switch right here. And then that will say gear C. And then you're going to back out, back out. And now when we turn this um, onto the actual receiver mode here, you can see that switch will then control aux one. So now we're going to go into the modes. And we're going to go to arm mode. And now we're going to use the switch that we just configured. So you can see here it's arming. And then we're going to go and choose angle or horizon, whatever you like, in air mode. And then we're going to move these up. Depending on which we want the switch to be here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and set each of these modes to make sure they're working. Make sure the receiver is still all configured correctly here, which it looks like it is. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to disconnect. Unplug. Throw in a nitro nectar. Give some power. And you're going to go ahead and arm the quad. Switch we just configured. And it should be good to go. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.